Hi, it's Pauline, Dead Author Live on Facebook. I'm coming to you from incredibly sunny Wyoming. It warmed up after lingering in the 60s, 50s, even getting down in the 30s. It's suddenly a beautiful, warm, sunny day. So I'm going to go out and enjoy it in a little bit. But first, I that's the Flamingo Weather Report. First, I wanted to mention that I'll be engaging in my grandma project for a few weeks, so you won't see me live again till June. I'm learning not to make promises I can't keep. It seems like things happen and I'm going to do this regularly and then I don't. But I have to keep a promise for my friend Riley Moreland. She bought me this really fun flamingo headband and Spike has been wearing it and rocking it, but he's going to let me wear it for this broadcast. So here we are, Riley, Pauline in a flamingo headband. <laughs> yes, there's pretty much nothing I won't do on live video. <laughs> in my real life, whole different story. But when I'm dead, yes, lots of crazy. So I'm, I've worn the flamingo headband. I'm looking at a list here so I remember everything I need to do. Um, it's been an interesting year. I've been working hard and I actually have some things that I think will be coming soon. Uh, in the fall, as I've mentioned before, we're gonna be doing Pets in Space 2 and it's called Embrace the Romance, Pets in Space 2. And my pet this time is a parrot. And I had some feedback from an actual parrot owner who said Sir Rupert should get his own series. And he is a pretty rockin' parrot, I have to say. I really like Sir Rupert. It's funny how that works, because you're sitting there thinking, oh, what pet? And I saw a picture of a parrot, and it was just like all of a sudden I could see Sir Rupert, and the whole story just unfolded, starting with him, really. But... It also has a character from my Project Enterprise universe, uh, Master Sergeant Briggs, who was kind of a mentor for both Sarah and Doc in the key and Grogan Nova. And in the past, several people have said that Briggs ought to get his own story, so he does this time. And I think he has a kind of a fun time getting his own romance, so that was fun as well. And the character that his his romantic girl actually ties back into Nebula 9. So if you haven't read any Project Enterprise or Nebula 9, now would be a good time because at least before October, you do have a little bit of time there. However, <laughs> up next is I'm planning on releasing a new story in the Project Enterprise universe. It's going to be called Found Girl and it's about, my heroine's name is Arian, and she is, comes from a really arid kind of life, and as the story unfolds, she begins to discover who and what she is, and learns about love, and kind of has to face a lot of challenges my characters, I put them through heck, so I can't see who's watching, <laughs> so says swipe left okay people what's left anyway it won't let me swipe left so sorry if you're making comments I can't see them I'm so sorry but anyway um, I'm doing an official cover cover reveal later but if you want a sneak peek I may have posted it on my website with a blurb the cover was done by the awesome Melody Simmons who did the rebranding re of my covers and the awesome Essie Smith helped me refine my blurb and make it sound much better. So you might just hop over to my website. You might be able to see that. Um, let's see, we've covered the headband, the Flamingo Weather Report. Beautiful, did I mention that? Uh, Grandma Project. Hi, grandkids. I'll see you really soon. Pets in Space. Oh, and I'm actually working on something for my mystery and suspense readers. It's called Louisiana Langyap, 
and I wish I could tell you it's going to be a novel. I'm working on a novel, but I'm also working on a short story. Alex and Nell are getting married, and if you remember my last short story, they went out to dinner, and it didn't go well. That's pretty much what's going to happen again, only this time, Alex's dad, Zach, is the, the hero of this story. And I'm introducing a character from his past, from high school. It's been really interesting because it's kind of like a December, December romance. <laughs> and as someone who's, I don't know if I'm in December, maybe November, it's kind of an interesting experience writing about that. So we'll see how I do. But there will be a wedding and a romance. And all these things are gonna happen if life doesn't happen quite so much. <laughs> um, I keep hoping, but things have been going really well. And um, let's see, knock on wood, summer is looking pretty good. And I'm looking forward to uh, actually releasing something new. I would be as grateful, I hope you will be too. And I think I went all the way through my list. Let me try one more time to see if there's any questions. And uh, I know I'm swiping left, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's my other left. <laughs> it says, want to hear. Well, I'm sorry, I will answer your questions after the video. I hope that you're having a lovely May. I'm having a wonderful May. Um, even with the interesting weather, with the up and down, I've been enjoying that because at least there are variations of weather here in wonderful Wyoming. And I um, appreciate y'all sticking with me, and I will see you on the other side of the Grandma Project. Take care and bye-bye.